of regulation to how you guys started over time so strong? Uh, I think we just realized who we wanted to attack and just wanted to make sure that we emphasized that you know one of our key words was being resilient you know to start the season so we knew they made their runs throughout the entire, the entire game and we knew they were home so um, we just tried to do a great job in overtime to stay locked in every possession and uh, make sure we box out rebound and make sure we get a, a great quality shot on the other end of the floor. I think it was otherworldly, yeah. but uh, how you know encouraging or, or exciting is it for him to make that pass to Reggie? It doesn't go down, but then Reggie and, and, and they came back in overtime and played like they did. Yeah, um, I think that's the growth, the growth that everyone is seeing right now. Luke is going to make the right pass at the end of the game, um, uh, and he trusts us, you know. So um, he did the same thing last year with Spencer, knocking down the shot. Um, he realizes that there's help coming and that there's um, the odds are in our favor on the weak side. So uh, just making the right play, incredible pass. I don't even know how it got there. Um, so just rattled in and out. But I think that's what got us the confidence, gave us the confidence to go into the overtime knowing that we can win the ball game just with his uh, intelligence and trusting us as a, as a ball club. Well, the hoop guys kind of get on your side when something like that happens. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> what just went through your mind when you made a face when you looked oh, at Lucas? Oh, I didn't realize he had 41. Yeah, yeah. What, what were you thinking? I, I mean, I didn't check the stat sheet. I just saw him. <laughs> decent night. Decent night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solid night for 77. <laughs> and Tim, for you, I feel like we hear as from the outside a lot about, oh, it might take Simmons a while to get back because it's been a while. It might take Jamal Murray, you know, a bunch of games to kind of get his legs back under him. For you, how do you kind of approach that? Because you know, missed the whole season last year, but it's been like eight full months since we've gotten done like this. Yeah, um, I think I, you know, just credit the off-season work workouts, credit the the coaching staff, the training staff during training camp, just making sure that I stay locked in and definitely listening to my pops, um, talking to him a lot, telling telling me to use training camp to overly exert yourself. Um, Playing both sides of the ball, and and uh, making sure that you're involved in every action during training camp, so you get your wind and everything back, you know. So I asked for some advice from the guy that's been there and done that. So uh, no, no, I'm always happy to have that in my back pocket. Say Hall of Fame advice. Is yeah, Hall of Fame bad. advice is, isn't a bad advice, right? <laughs> And in terms of the closing lineup and an overtime that you guys had out there, Jason said it was a feel thing for how well you guys were playing. What in particular was working really well with that five-man combination? Um, just, I think, uh, just listening to the game plan, what the coaches were giving us. Um, Luca orchestrating everything when it was dead balls, um, when, when there were timeouts. Um, Luca and Coach Kidd, they were orchestrating everything. And uh, the assistants making sure on defense, uh, knowing that we're talking, communicating out there on both ends of the floor, and just reiterating that you know we're going to win this ball game and just stay positive. What was going through your mind when you saw that cup come flying out of the court? Uh, run for cover. No, I'm just kidding. No, it was. Uh, I mean, it's part of the game. It happens. Um, uh, the refs did a great job. We just make sure we got to our benches and uh, stayed safe. Um, so the. The security to handle it very properly and well. Well, um, you mentioned it before, but what kind of confidence does it give you guys when, you know, like you said, you got a guy like Luke out there who can get his own shot whenever he wants, but he makes that jumper to start overtime and then immediately hits you for that three, hits Reggie, hits Maxi, and all of a sudden the game is, you know, pretty much out of reach at that point. Yeah, um, that's just us being ball players at that point, um, executing the game plan, like I said, executing what we do in practice, and, um, Make sure we we're finding openings, you know, for Luca to be able to deliver the ball. Um, we're just trying to do the best we can to make his job a lot easier out there on the floor when he's when he gives the ball up. And the only way to do that is knock down shots and take him with confidence and make a play. Super small sample size, but are you happy with the growth of this team through four games? What's your, your steps you're taking? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, I feel like we could do a lot better, um, but. It's only four games. We haven't played that many games. Uh, preseason, we only had three. 
some guys didn't play, uh, some guys sat out. So um, four games in, two and two, 500. No, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it.